Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I'm your host of Software Engineering Geek, and in this show we're going to be talking about views in GetK. So sit back and let the knowledge flow in, because SE Geek begins now. Okay, in this video, um, I'm going to go back to Get K, and actually I already have it up and running here uh, from the previous video, and I'm going to show you quite a bit more about views. So these I just mentioned briefly, and you know I kind of showed you this, and the first time you saw this, you're probably thinking, oh my god, what's going on here? And these can be very useful. Um, what I'm going to do here is this is just, uh, you know, we're making a new view. And what I want to do is say I wanted to uh, look at, you know, particular author. This is, you know, usually very good if you want to just look at, like, your own work. So we're just going to assume that there's only one BERT here. And we'll just click Apply. And... All right, so that limited us to just Bert's commits. Now, you'll see that there are actually some other people's commits because it shows you just his commits plus uh, the actual linking uh, from the origin commit of his commit. So these are just Bert's commits, and you can see you know, all of his commits throughout time. I know I'm uh, picking on Bert, but he has a simple name, so it makes it easy to... You know, pick out. So, you know, that's one way to actually do it. You can also do searches for, like, you know, on things that will come up in co commit messages. So maybe we wanted to do uh, anything that had Grails. Um, and it might help if I actually spell it correctly. And we'll just apply that. And we'll see that it actually limits the history further to anything that has, you know, grails in the commit message. So, and you can be very uh, specific. You can use regular expressions, search strings, see, you know, find things that are in commit messages. You know, there's, you can be very specific. You can also do dates. So if we want to limit this, uh, we'll pick a couple dates. So we're going to do... 2012-02-11, and actually we want that in the until, actually. So, and we'll do from uh, 2012- to dash um, seven we'll apply that so now that just gives us that particular date range uh you know we can specify you know limits uh you know number to show so it only shows us maybe the top hundred uh we can mark branch slides we can limit to first parent simple history uh, you know, all this, you can do, you know, a bunch of stuff here. Uh, we can say, you know, all branches or say we just want to look at the master branch in this time and apply that. And all right, we already all are on the master branch. Of, actually, it limited even further. So, you know, you can get very, very specific and you can actually name this view. So we want to say that this is, you know... Bert's magic view because <laughs> it, it you know we did a lot of stuff in here and we want to remember that always so click OK and I think this is the full screen that's screwing me up so let's just move this to another view here and or another uh, workspace so now we have you know this view which will always be there when we open up get K and if we want, we can switch back to, you know, the normal view of all files. 
Uh, if we passed in any uh, commands in the get uh, in the uh, when we did uh, get k, say we said uh, get k, uh, and we passed in the branch test, so it would show us uh, test, and you know all the files from that in you know get k, and if we went to view, there would be all files, and there would also be command line view, so you know there would be that extra view, and we can always make another new view. So let's go back to this view and we'll create a new view and actually it just gives us blank. Uh, so actually let's go back to all view and we'll pick on someone else this time. So this time we'll pick on Jeff. because He has a simple name too and we'll say let's look at just Jeff's. So you know this can be very uh, helpful if you want to set up you know, particular views, or if you just want to get very specific with what you're looking at. And as I said before, getting to know get log can be particularly useful because you can pass get log arguments right here. So you can pass them on the command line, like I showed you before, but you can actually put them in directly here and say, I wanted, uh, oh, what would be a good get log command? <laughs> Uh, let's see, dash u of, let's say, now nah, 30 is too much, let's say just, uh, see what the default is right now, default is 3, so let's make it 6 and apply that, so now it's going to show us actually 6 lines of context, even though it's showing only that it, it's only going to be showing three lines. Obviously, you could come in here and modify that. Oh, well, actually, you can't because the get. So the get uh, this is actually overriding that. How interesting. So and one of the great things is you can keep this around and apply it, and you know just have you it apply your particular changes. Um. So that can be actually, this can be actually very useful for you when you're just exploring your get history. So it, you know, takes what I showed you with get log and makes it uh, so that you can see it again and again very easily. Uh, also, if you know regular expressions, you can swap this over to regular expressions and go nuts with, you know, searching through changes with regular expressions. Uh, I don't particularly like regular expressions, but if you do, have at it. And you know, there's all kinds of other you know uh, options here as well. So check out Get Views; very useful tool. <laughs>